The next section says, use the properties of real numbers to add polynomials algebraically. They have the horizontal method or the vertical method. I tend to prefer the vertical method. And the vertical method just says you align your like terms and you add the coefficients of your like terms vertically. So they're like stacked one on top of the other. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the try these B section. And like I said, I'm going to do the vertical method. It says add and write your answers in standard form. So that means we need to write them in descending order. So I'm going to write these on a separate piece of paper and then I'll transfer my answers over. All right, so try these. B, letter A. The first one says 4x, oh, sorry, x squared plus 3 plus x squared minus 3x plus 5. All right, I'm going to write these vertically. So I'm going to do 4x squared. I'm going to leave a space here, and then I'm going to write plus 3 over here. Now what I'm going to do whenever I go to add these is the second expression. I'm going to write, but notice I have an x squared term, so I'm going to stack that right underneath there. But notice how I left this gap. That would be my x term if that first one had one, and it didn't. So I'm just going to write the minus 3x here. And then I'm going to write the plus 5. So I've stacked like terms on top of each other. And I left gaps to represent those missing. Okay. It doesn't matter whether you start at the beginning or the end because we're just combining our like terms. So we're only basically looking at these piece by piece. So 3 plus 5 is 8. So I'm going to put plus 8. This would be like saying 0 minus 3x, which would be negative 3x. And then I've got 4x squared plus x squared. Remember, there's this like imaginary one there. So this would be 5x squared. So here, this answer is 5x squared minus 3x plus 8. So that is 5x squared minus 3x plus 8. We're going to do part, or letter B now. Letter B says 10y squared plus 8y plus 6 added to 17y squared minus 11. Again, I'm going to stack these vertically. And if I have pieces or terms that are missing, I'm just going to leave gaps in those places. So we've got 10y squared plus 8y plus 6. We're adding to that 17y squared. Now notice this is 11, but it's a constant term. So notice how I leave a space and I move that all the way over. I don't want to put you under 8y because they're not like. So I'm going to look at these one piece at a time. 6 minus 11 is negative 5. 8y plus 0 is positive 8y. And 10y squared plus 17y squared is going to be 27y squared. So I have 25, sorry, 27y squared plus 8y minus 5. So I'm going to bring that answer over. That was 27y squared plus 8y minus 5. Now we're going to do letter C. Letter C says 9x squared 
plus 15x plus 21. Added to negative 13x squared minus 11x minus 26. So we're going to stack these. I got 9x squared plus 15x plus 21. And we're going to add negative 13x squared minus 11x minus 26. Take these one piece at a time. 21 minus 26 is negative 5. 15x minus 11x is 4x positive. And 9x squared plus a negative 13x squared would be negative 4x squared. So my final answer here would be negative 4x squared plus 4x minus 5. Final answer. Go ahead and make sure you get this information written down for A, B, and C and answer the debriefing question to follow.